Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about how to tell time. This is from your pupil's book, page 96. So first, let's review quickly the parts of a clock. This hand here is called the hour hand or the little hand because it's small and it tells you the hours on the clock. And this hand here is the minute hand or the big hand because it's longer and it tells you the minutes on the clock. Okay, so here we've got our clock. And when we're telling time, we usually count the minutes by fives. So we start at the top with zero minutes, which is o'clock. And then we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, etc. So here's another clock. And we can divide this clock into two parts. When the minute hand is on this side of the clock, we say past. So let's try this one. We can see the minute hand is pointing here, so five minutes have passed. And look at the hour hand. It's pointing towards the three. So we can say it's five past three or five minutes past three o'clock. Now the minute hand is here, so 10 minutes have gone by. So it's 10 past three. Here, now this one is a bit different. The minute hand is pointing here, so 15 minutes have gone by, but we don't say 15 past three. No, no, we say quarter past three because a quarter of the hour has passed. Now the minute hand is here, so 20 minutes have passed, and we can say 20 past 3. And here, 25 minutes have passed, so we say 25 past 3. Now be careful, because the minute hand is pointing down to the bottom of the clock, so 30 minutes have passed. But we don't say 30 past 3, no, no. We say half past 3, because half of the hour has passed. Now, let's look at the other side of the clock. When the minute hand is on this side of the clock, we say two, not past. On this clock, let's look at the hour hand first. We can see it's pointing now between the three and the four, and it's moving closer to four o'clock. So now we have to count backwards with our minutes. You can see the minute hand is pointing down. And so there are 25 minutes left in this hour, which means it's 25 to 4, or 25 minutes until 4 o'clock. Now the minute hand is here. And so we've got 20 minutes left in the hour. So we say 20 to 4. Now, the minute hand is here at the 9, but remember we can't say 15 to 4. No, we don't say it like that. We say quarter to 4. Now, the minute hand is here, so we've got 10 minutes left in the hour, and we say 10 to 4. And here, the minute hand is pointing up, We've got five minutes left in the hour, so we can say five to four, or five minutes until four o'clock. Look, now the minute hand is pointing up towards the 12, which means o'clock. And the hour hand is pointing to the four now, so that means it's four o'clock. Here, boys and girls, you can see all the different times around the clock. So, if you need help remembering, you can come back to this part of the video and check it again. Let's practice telling time using this clock. What time is it? Well, we can start here looking at the hour hand, which tells us it's six, okay? And what about the minute hand? Hmm, look where it's pointing. Ten minutes have gone by, so we can say it's ten. <clears throat> 10 past 6. Good. Let's do one more example. What time is it on this clock? Well, again, let's start by looking at 
the hour hand here, which is between the 8 and the 9. And the minute hand is on this side of the clock, so be careful. We can see there are 5 minutes left in this hour. So we can say it's 5, <clears throat> five two, 9. Very good, boys and girls. Bye-bye.